Today, I'm going to tell you why I happily abandoned my first six figure a year business for a five figure a year business. And you'll discover the business opportunity trap, which is something that thousands of entrepreneurs fall into every year. Hello, I'm Shane Melach from activegrowth.com. And what inspired this video is actually that I recently saw an ad with the title, he made 26K flipping silly little websites. I think that's pretty good ad copy, right? It's attention grabbing. And when you see that, you're probably thinking, that sounds good. I mean, $26,000 just flipping a couple of websites. Sounds great, sounds better than what I'm doing right now. This is a typical ad for what I call a business opportunity, which is like, hey, learn this easy new skill, you know, tap into this thing, make easy money. But when we look at the reality of what you're getting into here, it often looks very, very different. And this is why I call it the business opportunity trap. You're seeing this attractive example of something, but if you actually pursue this, you'll find that things are a lot more complicated than they first seemed. Now let's give this business the benefit of the doubt. Let's assume that you can buy a course here that teaches a valid system for flipping websites and earning money. Let's assume it's not just a scam in other words. And let's assume you take this course and you really implement, right? You really go after this and try this out for yourself. The first thing you'll find is that there is a learning curve, right? You'll find that all of the things, all of the skills you have to learn to do the research, to find maybe expiring domain websites or, or approach people, do outreach, to buy people's websites and so on. The systems you need to actually improve those websites and then find buyers who are gonna pay you more than you paid and all that. You'll find that it's actually very complex. You'll find that there's actually a lot of new skills you have to acquire and there's a learning curve. But let's say you stick with it and within one year, you reach a good result. At this point, you'll probably find out that the original example and the original promise was an absolute best case scenario, right? It's probably the best case scenario that someone made 26K following this system because they're gonna show you their best example and not a typical example. But let's say you do really well and you actually make $20,000 flipping a website. And here you'll find the biggest problem in the business opportunity trap, which is that those $20,000 in revenue don't equal $20,000 in profit. Because, well, you had to buy this website, you maybe spent a few thousand dollars buying this website, then you had to invest time, you had to invest possibly also money for you know design, for outsourcing some work, whatever you do to improve that site, and then invest even more time to find a buyer and close the deal. And in the end, those $20,000 are not $20,000 in your pocket. But let's say you made a really good deal and you have actually $10,000 in profit. Now, that's great, who doesn't want $10,000? But the problem is you can't exactly retire on $10,000 either. This puts you in a bit of a bind, and I'm gonna get back to this in a moment, but first let me tell you the story of how I abandoned my first six-figure-a-year business. You see, one of the early online businesses I did was that I was running an e-commerce store selling niche computer hardware. And this e-commerce store actually made more than $200,000 in the first year and more than $300,000 in the second year. And that sounds pretty exciting, right? I could make an ad saying, make $200,000 in e-commerce in year one. Wow, sign up for this, right? But if you look at this actual business, with razor thin profit margins and with a lot of expenses for shipping and returns and taxes and all this kind of stuff. Once all was said and done, how much did I make? How much money did I actually make for myself in those two years? Well, basically zero. I just about came out even by the time I gave up this business. I just about spent the same amount of money that this business had made. My next business was an online course business and it made five figures in the first year. I don't know the exact numbers anymore, but it was something like $50,000. And the thing was out of those $50,000, I got to keep most of that. Most of that was profit. So my little five figure a year business was way better for me than my big six figure a year business. So, okay, that is the big, business opportunity trap right there. But still, let's go back to our story. Let's say you're flipping these websites, you've gotten to the point, you've learned enough about this, that you know how to make money doing this. What you'll probably find next is that you have to find a way to scale this up, right? You have to find some way in which it's not just you staring at the screen of your laptop all day and all night, in order to do all the research, all the work, all this stuff in order to make this happen. So you will want to automate some of this. You maybe invest in some automation systems and tools 
you probably start writing standard operating procedure documents and hiring people, hiring outsourcers or hiring staff, and you find yourself running an increasingly complex business, right? You find yourself basically running a much more complicated business that, than was ever mentioned in the original ad or in the original pitch. And you find that, that your day to day is not what you expected it to be. And it might turn out that this business just isn't very profitable, right? You might be in a position where you actually make a lot of revenue, but just not that much profit. And you have to churn and churn and churn to keep above water, right? You have to do all this work and you have to continue working. You can't just drop this. You have to constantly keep working. You have to sell you know, a certain number of websites every month in order to be able to pay your bills. And so your pursuit of freedom and your pursuit of an easy business opportunity has landed you a job that's no better than your last job. And then the last issue I want to mention with the typical business opportunity is that it's often based around exploiting some kind of a loophole, right? Exploit some loophole to get your stuff ranked on Amazon, you know, and it's drop shipping, so you don't even have to make your own product and so on. Well, these kinds of loophole opportunities will always be crowded with a whole bunch of other people trying to exploit the same loopholes and game the system. Plus, you'll find that you're basically operating against the interests of the platform that you're earning your money from. So you're essentially biting the hand that feeds you. This usually doesn't last long and doesn't end well. And by the way, Amazon FBA is a great example of this because you can be selling hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of product on Amazon and not take home a lot of profit. All right, so that is the business opportunity trap. But what should you do with all this? Now that you know this, what's the takeaway? Well, it might surprise you to hear that I'm actually not all negative on this. I think that pursuing something like this and doing this learning, you know, going through the learning and kind of learning the lesson the hard way is not necessarily a bad thing to do. It can cut your teeth and build some entrepreneurial and marketing skills doing this. I think that's better than being passive. It's better than not taking action on anything. But having said that, it's even better if you just avoid the business opportunity trap altogether. And the main thing you can do to avoid this is to take into account not just what is the opportunity, how much money can I make, but what does my day to day look like if I'm doing this? You know, how many people get into something like Amazon FBA just because they want money, but they don't ask themselves, is the day to day of my life, do I want that to be things like, you know, inventory, reaching out to Chinese manufacturers, doing niche research, doing this whatever stuff to game the system, right? Is that what I want to be doing with my life? Is that what I want to spend my time on? And I think this is the real trap. It is that you create a job for yourself that you don't really want simply because you were chasing money. The key is to be aware of what do you want to spend your time doing? What do you want the day to day of your life to look like? And let's be real. It's not going to be the four hour work week. You're not a few months away from having a hands off business that generates profit for you. Whatever business you pursue is going to mean work. It is going to basically start off as a job that you have to work in every single day. And if you do really well, maybe after a few years, you can kind of hand it off and automate it. But you have to choose something where your day to day, the work you actually do is stuff that you want to be doing. The ideal outcome, in my opinion, is that you basically have both, that you have a business where the day to day work is stuff that you want to be doing and that you enjoy doing. So you don't actually feel the need to you know, get yourself out of this business and hand it off to someone else. But also you can do that. So you, you're not forced to do the work because you've systematized it, you've outsourced it and so on, but you like doing it. So it doesn't feel like a job and it doesn't feel like a trap. So that's my takeaway for the day. Take a look at the thing that you're pursuing right now. Take a look at the goal that you have right now, the business opportunity or the system that you're going after and ask yourself, if this was a job, would I apply for it?